Welcome back to my channel. I am Viva Glaze. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and clicking on the notification bell so you know each time I put out a video. This video is not sponsored. I just always shop there when I discovered them uh, in my local shopping center, online, and they were having a sale. So, you know, I went a little bit crazy because usually their candles are, the three week candles are like 46. 95 Australian dollars and the one week candles range around 14 15 dollars and you know it's not always that I want to spend 46 dollars at Bath and Body Works usually I, I spend that kind of money on some other niche candle brands you know which I will share with you another day but since I bought so much of these I thought I can do a haul with you there will be a mixture of all kinds of different things here we've got wallflowers and let's just start let's just get into it okay so these are the first two bags that i'm gonna go through i also have a big box on the ground here that we're gonna go through together so we better start otherwise we'll be here for a long time in one of the bags were a few candles so I'll just show you one at a time. Okay, the first candle is Midnight Blue Citrus. Usually when I purchase candles and I smell them, I try to imagine what time of the day I would be burning it. So because this one smells like a fresh sweet scent. Oh, it's so good. I would burn it, okay, just after cooking because I hate the smell of food in the bedrooms. So when I cook, I usually close the doors of my bedrooms. But you know, the smell can go through whatever. I will just air out the house first, open the windows, let the food smell go away, um, subside, and then close the windows again and burn this in the evening. So this is like around 4 p.m. and it'll get rid of that food smell that I don't like lingering around for too long it is lovely I like this the next candle I picked up is bergamot waters it smells a bit green and ocean like so yeah moment of truth Honestly, I don't actually remember what I bought. So I was kind of in a rush because it was a sale. So I just, you know, clicked one, two, three and check out. So I'm excited to find out what I purchased. I actually bought some hand wash, some gentle foaming hand soap. This is almond blossom. And this is the packaging. It's just a matte black packaging. And it says Bath & Body Works on the side here. Let's just smell it. Ooh, almond sandalwood-ish. <laughs> oh, it's cozy. The next hand soap is another foaming soap. This is purely clean, and that's the packaging there. Mmm, that is so clean smelling. It kind of smells like detergent, or like this floor cleaning solution that I have. I don't know. But it's very, it's very clean smelling, so should be nice. And it looks like this is my last hand wash this is another gentle foaming hand soap and this is called sweater weather sweater weather this has sage eucalyptus and fresh woods which you know suits the whole christmas vibe looking packaging there is 259 mils in each of these hand soaps can't wait to use it i love the blue 
Let's smell it. I almost forgot to smell it. Oh, I can smell the eucalyptus, but it's, it's, the cedar is more upfront than the eucalyptus, which is good because I don't want too much eucalyptus, but it has the sweater vibes, you know, winter, Christmas vibes. Yeah. I blind bought these but they turned out good. So I am very proud of myself because when I was picking them, I did read the ingredients a little bit. The thing about blind buying is you never know what you're gonna get. And all these candles I blind bought. So I'm really hoping that I will like them, okay? Mm. First up is Georgia Pitch. This is cute packaging. Um, I can tell that they just put like a plastic sleeve over the top of the candle and it seems removable. Um, it doesn't really go with my deco, but you know, whatever. Let's hope that it smells good. I would be surprised if it doesn't actually smell like peaches. I mean, how many things do we buy that claim to smell like one thing, but don't? Okay, so black cap, functional. Okay, approved. <laughs> it smells good. Smells like peaches and wax, but mainly peaches. So I can tell this is gonna be actually a very potent very potent candle. It's gonna fill up my whole apartment and it's gonna smell wonderful. Um, I am into light, sweet, fruity um, scents. Not so much too sickening sweet. That's more for winter. So yes, tropical scents, you know, tropical fruits. You can't go wrong in summer because it's summer. So yes. I love this. There's a very excited bird outside my window. So, <laughs> yeah. Egg crate <laughs> look. Okay. Um, delicate candles. So they were packaged very nicely. There goes my empty box. So, let's talk about one candle at a time. Wow. <laughs> this is pretty packaging. Oh, I love this pink. <laughs> it's so pretty. Okay. The candle is Cactus Blossom. The name sounds fabulous. Okay. And it's got that silver lid. Mm. I'm glad it's not so heavy because I'm not heavy on florals. I don't like florals to that extent. But this is light, so I can tolerate it, and it's lovely. Mm. Yes, we like cactus blossom. So um, yeah, I just love the pink. It's just the perfect pink. Between these two, actually, um, this one is good for all year round. I feel as though this one I'll only like certain seasons, so summer, spring, maybe autumn. But this is good all year round except for winter. Because these packages from Bath & Body Works don't match with my deco, what I usually do is if I light a candle, let's say I light Georgia Peach, I will extinguish it and the smell will still be lingering in the air, but you know, I won't have this out for too long. So I only need to light it for, you know, 15 to 20 minutes, maybe half an hour. And when I extinguish it, it still lingers in the air for a while. So this is what I'll be doing with all these candles. Now, this is cucumber and lily candle. I love the white, the florals, 
and it's simple it's clean so I want to smell it oh it's light and pretty and clean oh I'm gonna love this I might burn this today oh wait let me give the other candles a chance so <laughs> um this is nice this is after you've done your linen you know or you've washed your curtains you've steamed them whatever and the house is so clean oh this is so good i like this this is a repurchase for me it's going to be a repurchase this is cucumber and lily and all these candles are 14.5 ounce, so 411 grams. So they should last a little while. Mm, yes, this is nice. Oh, this deep purple. <laughs> uh, it's like romantic kind of looking, you know? This is nighttime vibes. The minute I lifted the lid, the smell just whoosh, in my face. This smells like something that a candy, um, like a like a blueberry candy that I'm trying to think of, and it smells like sherbet as well, like fizzy, fizzy blueberries. What is this candy? Oh, if I think of it, I'll let you know. Oh, this is good. This is good. It's sweet, fizzy, light fizz. Let me know in the comment section if you've had those um, sherbets. They have them here in Australia, but they're not as strong. This smells like that. I think what I'll do is at the end of this video, I will rate all my candles from least favorite to favorite. And yeah, see if you can guess which ones are my favorite, just based on my reactions, probably. I make it so obvious, don't I? But this is nice, okay? This will be a repurchase. Our next candle, Frosted Cranberry. And oh, this packaging, mm, it's matte and it's got this gold engraving in it. Um, it reminds me of like Christmas wrapping paper, but yeah, I like it. Um. I like it it's complicated the frost smells like ashes but in the best possible way <laughs> it smells like you know the Christmas tree you've got the leaves it smells like that and berries and cranberries and we know cranberries are a little bit sour so yes so it's a bit greeny berry like and soury it's nice is there some smoke ish smell going there or is it just the wax anyway so yes I like this this is Nighttime, Christmas, or winter vibes. Or autumn. Autumn. Yeah. Our next candle is Fresh Fall Morning. There it is. So it's similar packaging to Frosted Cranberry. It's got that matte background with the gold drawings over it. We like the packaging, but this one has green. So, mm. Mm. 
Okay. It's a fresh scent. <laughs> well, it says fresh fall morning. It's definitely fall, but I'm smelling like some type of spice, you know, like cinnamon or maybe clove and wax and something sweet. Yeah, to make it more lively, you know? Yeah, and it's got florals, obviously, probably. Mm, it's nice. It's a clean scent with a bit of spice. I like this one. It's going to be so hard to rate them. They've all been good so far, but of course I have my favorites. Hmm. I wonder if this scent is just seasonal or they'll always have it. Last but not least, off the candles, I still have a bunch of other things. Um, this is Sweater Weather. Okay. And that's the packaging. It's like a milky white, off white. Matte, lovely, clean, simple. It's got a fox at the front here and a, yeah, Christmas vibes. Sometimes when I go in store, I like to ask the store attendants to recommend whatever are uh, their favorites of whatever in, they sell in that store. And this is one of the ones that people pointed out to me. But of course, this time, sweater weather was a blind buy, so let's go ahead and try it the minute i opened the lid the smell just you know came right in my face Ooh, this is good it has like a woodsy smell as well definitely sweater weather vibes okay so cool weather fall winter this is nice so hopefully the order I've rated them won't change when I burn them because sometimes you can smell a candle out of the tin and it'll smell different when you burn it so I don't want to mislead you but at the moment this is the rating I'm gonna give my candles at the bottom of the list frosted cranberry it's nice but there's something in there that I'm not quite sure of in terms of my liking it. And I don't know. It just seems like a scent I would get sick of or wouldn't really reach out to get, you know, when I have options. Number six on the list is our Georgia Peach. Um, I liked this candle as well. But like I said, it would be sickening for me in certain weather or seasons so it's not an easy reach as well so it goes at number six next up is cactus blossom okay this scent is nice simple floral and you know floral is not really my vibe but because it's not so strong i can tolerate it um it's not a favorite but it's it's likable it's not as interesting as the other scents that i have so number four is the fresh fall morning and this one went above the cactus blossom because it has a twist to it it has a rarity to it you know it's something different from what i've smelled before so i just thought I will enjoy it more than the cactus blossom and it's more bearable to my nose and my taste so yes at top three of the candles I've shown you today we have cucumber and lily honestly this is so nice I would even fall asleep to this because it's so clean and light sweetness from the lily it's pretty you know it's it's just mellow it's lovely um yeah i love this cucumber and lily number three at number two 
we have black cherry and merlot. Oh, sherbet, sweetness, candy, mm, sour, and I love sour candy. Okay, so it's sweet, it's sour, it's just interesting. It's good for that nighttime vibe. So even in a romantic scenario, so I enjoy this one. This is why it is at number two. At number one is sweater weather. Simply because I like to be comfortable. I like my sports shirts, sportswear kind of vibe. I like hoodies, I like comfort. And this is winter comfort vibes. And it's just like that. It's friendly, it's welcoming. Mm. I wouldn't say it's more interesting to the other ones. It's friendly. So yes, it goes at number one. Sweater weather. All right, so like I mentioned, I pick up candles from everywhere. I even have some candles from TK Maxx. We call it TK Maxx here in America. They call it TJ Maxx. So I have some examples here. I have this one here. It's rosewood, vanilla, and amber um, artisan candle. I don't know what this brand is. But these can Oh, this smells so good. I mean, you can't go wrong with vanilla and amber. And I just love the packaging because I have a bit of black in my home. The issue with discounted candles is that some of them are not as potent and not good quality. So you kind of have to guess. It's a gamble. And these ones have been good. I know which brands to um, pick up when I go to TK Maxx for candles. So yes but usually i do enjoy my bath and body works my luxury candles because you know you pay for the quality and and you don't want any toxins because you are breathing in the candles basically the last last hole last but not least are wallflowers if you do not know what wallflowers are, they're basically, you know, pluggable home fragrance diffusers. You plug this into your wall and you attach the scent. Right here. And your home will smell like this scent. It kind of distributes the fragrance in your home. I have several wallflowers i already had a few around the house but um, i also purchased some more so i just got two of the same ones this time and one different one this time i got three of those because you know i want one in every room maybe two in every room eventually but right now i want to have one in every room so the scents that I bought were um, fresh linen. Just as a name, it smells like fresh linen. It's so perfect. So that's it. I love this blue. It smells so good. Oh, I have two of those. And these were perfect for my bedroom or bathroom. Um, anywhere, really. I just... I just like the smell of linen, but mainly in the bedrooms. The next two are Sweet Pea. Yeah, so they this just smells like sweet, clean, and a bit of eucalyptus kind of um, scent in here. And yeah, they'll be perfect for any part of the house. I also bought one called beautiful day and it just smells like a sunny clean day like a blue sky basically um yeah it's neat it's clean it's pure it just smells like pure air clean blue sky sunny day lovely 
it'll be perfect for all around the house um i was running out of time the day i bought these and i just i hoped to go back and pick up the same scents but more of them and just restock because these are all year round scents i also got fresh cotton another fresh linen smell perfect for the bedroom clean love it the next scent is ocean driftwood and i like the color of this and this just smells like salt water and wood and it's woody and fresh clean salty it'll be perfect all year round maybe in the kitchen um yeah after i've cleaned the house and everything or even the bedroom it, it'll just work or the bathroom yeah we'll see we'll see what i'm feeling like and yeah it'll be nice love it so i have lavender vanilla this will be perfect for the bedroom or the kitchen or the bathroom but because of the lavender the relaxing vibe i don't know where i'll put it honestly it will fit in anywhere in the house at any season it would just be perfect so yes this is lavender and vanilla last but not least it is sweater weather i don't know if you realize this but now i have sweater weather in the scent diffuser for the wallflower and um, a hand wash and a candle triple threat it's just a sign that i liked the scent so yes it's good i actually wish i had cucumber and lily in a wallflower as well and a um a hand wash soap so i'll keep a look out for that because i really really like that scent i'm in love with clean scents and warm sweet cozy scents so sweater weather is our last wallflower diffusing scent and that does it for this video thank you so much for watching my haul of some candles home scents everything fabulous so <laughs> i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment in the comment section about any thoughts you have over the scents that i've showed you today do you like candles which candles do you like and which stores do you normally buy your candles eh? let me know in the comment section and i will see you in my next video